What's up guys, I'm Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to move the files from an old iPhone over to a new one using iTunes. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. For this process, you're going to need a couple of things to get started. First of all, you're going to need to have a good Wi-Fi connection. Also, you'll need some type of computer your two iPhones and make sure they're fully charged and you're gonna need the lightning cable that came with your phone. Now it is recommended to use the original equipment that way you have less chances of having any kind of problems. If you're using an Apple computer, iTunes is pre-installed, but if you're using a PC, you need to head over to the website and download the file. Just go over to iTunes.com and then it'll take you to this website, then press download. It should normally recognize your computer, but if not, download Windows right there. Most newer Windows computers have 64-bit installed, but if not, you can still download the 32-bit version right there. Once you have iTunes open, go to the top and click on Accounts. Then go ahead and sign in with the same login and password that you have on your iTunes account on your iPhone. The next step is you need to authorize your computer so it can move your files over. At the top, go back to Accounts and then press on Authorization and Authorize this computer. Then you'll need to enter your iTunes password one more time. Then press Authorize. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and plug in your original iPhone so you can get the files off of it. You'll be prompted on your phone to trust this computer. Now you want to go to this icon that looks like a miniature phone. Now you want to press on this computer so it can back up the files right on your computer directly. Then press Backup Now. Now you do have an option to encrypt a file so no one has access to it, but that'll be up to you. This backup process can take from 10 minutes up to an hour, depends on how fast your computer is. Now during this process, you will lose some of your files because Apple is only gonna allow you to backup and restore things that are bought or purchased from Apple. If you have files on your iPhone that wasn't purchased from Apple, you'll need to buy a program similar to this. I made a video about it and I'll leave a link in the description below. Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to move some files out of your Apple products over to your desktop so you can share them with other Apple products or Android products or just have them as a memory. We're talking about music that wasn't bought through iTunes. I'm gonna show you how to back up your call log, how to print out text messages and a lot more. So sit back and relax and let's get started. But this will allow you to move all your music over to your computer so you can resync it back up to your new device as well as call history, memos, but a lot of this stuff is already stored in your iCloud. Once your phone is done backing up, now you can go check to make sure it's in your computer. You go to the top and press iTunes, then press preference. And then under devices, you can see your last backup right there. Now the backup is complete. Go ahead and plug in the iPhone that you want to transfer all your information to. Now keep in mind, anything that's in that device will not be there anymore. It's gonna clear it out and start over with your files that you had in your previous iPhone. Once you plug your phone in, you're gonna get a pop-up again that says, trust this phone. Now iTunes is showing a new device. Go ahead and press the little icon that looks like a phone again. Then go over here to the side and press restore backup. Before you restore it, you need to go into the phone setting and turn off find my iPhone so it can then start the process. In order to turn off Find My iPhone, go into Settings, press on your name, then press iCloud, scroll to the bottom, then turn off Find My iPhone. You also need to enter the password of that iCloud that's on that phone, then press Turn Off. The next step is go ahead and plug your phone back in. It should allow you to restore this time. Go back to the top and hit the phone icon again. Then press restore backup. If you have old backups, you'll have a drop down with multiple backups on it, but we're gonna use the one that I just backed up. Go ahead and press restore. Depending on how fast your computer is, this can take from five minutes up to a half an hour and sometimes longer. Once iTunes is done, you can disconnect your phone and then start the process of putting everything back together. Now, since it's one of the newer iPhones, you're gonna to have to swipe up to get started, but an older iPhone will have a different screen. Next, enter the passcode that you had on your previous phone. Next, you'll see this screen where it's starting to rebuild the phone's profile. Now the restore is complete, go ahead and press continue. 
you want to enter your Wi-Fi password again. Now enter the password from your iCloud account from your previous phone. From your email account or another Apple device, go ahead and enter this passcode that pops up on your device. Now the phone is looking on iCloud so it can start re-downloading all your applications. Next, you'll be prompted to enter the password on the Mac, but it may vary from PCs to Mac. Once you enter the password, go ahead and press Done. You can reset up your Apple Pay or do it later if you had it set up before. Now since I use the Apple Watch, it's asking me do I have one so it can help you set it up later. Then go ahead and press continue. Since the new iPhone doesn't have the home button, it's showing you how to use the Siri command. And then these are just some helpful tips to show you how to use the new device. Once you get through all those screens, swipe up to get started. Now if you have the iPhone with the home button, it'll be a different process. Now if you take a look at the phone, it's starting to put all my apps in the phone just like it was before. You'll also start getting a bunch of pop-up for all the email accounts that were in your previous phone. You'll need to know the password for all of those. And as well as your Apple Watch will start beeping to let you know that it's time to set that up as well. Now once everything starts loading up, some of your applications you'll need to log back in. For example, let's click on Facebook. If you notice, Facebook didn't log in automatically, but the good news is if you have the keychain set up where it remembers your password, you can simply press down here below and then it'll log right back in. Also, my basic email account, I need to re-enter the password, so you need to know all these different passwords for every email account that you have on your device. And the last thing I want to show you is what my phone looks like once it moved over. As you can see, all the applications are exactly the same. Only thing that didn't move would be my music, and the photos are going to be on the iCloud, so they'll systematically download back into the device. So I hope this video helped you guys out, and if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below this video. And like all my videos before, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.